Sagittarius, I'm here to do your guys' reading. So this is going to be for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. I've already shuffled these cards and done put some reversals in there somewhere in this mix. And here we go. Here's your card for one of your cards. This one is the Three of Wands. So there's looking like somebody is expecting something to come about. This is like merging with other people um being inspired to build something to create something and so now there's some expectation and waiting to see maybe you've made that choice and put together this little project and it's like okay what's coming from this so this is expectations <clears throat> during the week waiting for something to come on in we're gonna pull some cards from here and find out now this one i can shuffle <laughs> So we're going to see what's going on with the Sagittarius, Sun and Rising, and Venus. So today I had my Cancer reading. I had cards <laughs> fly out of, uh, one card fly off that deck. You can always go check that reading out. Um, it was pretty amazing, though I can just tell you that it was something that was really unexpected. Um, a card just like flipped on over and showed itself. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I had, I was, wow, just wowed. <laughs> My sister saw the video and said, you must have a ghost in your house. It's like I didn't feel a malvoyant, is that the right word? Malvoyant presence. But, um, and when that happened, it was like, wow. <laughs> it actually made me smile. So if there was a presence in my home, which of course that's most likely going to be what would have caused that, it didn't scare me or put any fear into me. So it was a good presence. So somebody was helping with that reading for cancer this morning. So my <laughs> for some of you that are spiritual and do believe, and just go check it out. Slow motion it too if you want click on it like frame by frame and look there's no trickery in that video whatsoever i promise you so sagittarius sun moon rising and venus if my little uh pieces <laughs> they rise off the table i'd be kind of surprised i better be careful on that right <laughs> okay so let's get on with the reading yeah you guys can time stamp this for Angela talking forever, just get on with it, right? Come on, Angela, quit talking all the time. <laughs> okay, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Don't ask me why I'm doing it that way, but this is just the way that I felt guided to do this, and it's just worked out pretty nice today. This deck I'll be using for clarifying, and so I'll just shuffle these really quick to get them mixed up, so I'll <coughs> put in order, like in the right, right side up, no reversals, so that what, whatever needs to be in reversal will come out reversal. And let me give these a pre-shuffle of maybe five times so this is a better. And five one more. And we'll get this party started. Or South Paris. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And here we go. Let's shuffle those too. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so hold on one second. This is for the clarifying for Sagittarius is read for the week. Alrighty, so overall energy situation for the week is feeling like, wow, okay, wanting to celebrate. Now this is really interesting because it's like there's an a energy of happiness, success. There's expectation, expectation 
right here with this card. So now we have another three. So this is having a sense of joy and happiness, merging with other people, sharing and caring, right? <laughs> you know, I always say that. But this could be having you on guard. There may be a situation that's, even though there's success, you know, a feeling of getting together, there's like no truth in a situation, which you may feel there's no truth in this situation. So you're proceeding with caution going forward slowly. We'll clarify the Ace of Swords in reverse. Why is Ace of Swords in reverse? Because if your situation overall is one of happiness, you're going to be feeling overall this week, though, like there's some, like something's not right. So maybe this is too good to be true. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah, maybe not feeling very secure about something. Maybe being a bit agitated, not feeling like there's all the truth is being told. And, oh boy, Knight of Pentacles twice, just really being on guard, moving really slow, over re-evaluating some stuff here because this is you this is the action you're really super duper looking maybe there's taxes coming about that you're dealing with <laughs> yeah not able to jump the gun on this situation there's just like maybe these are all these other people there's a lot of people here one two three there's you not pinnacles these other two people are in reverse one they're agitated you're trying to deal with this. Okay, I see that now because there are three people celebrating together, trying to be joyful and happy, but there's something not being truthful and you're evaluating that. Yep, not seeing your wishes, not feeling like a wish fulfilled. It's like you were expecting something, but um, it's not coming into play here. So we have the Knight of Pentacles over here. We don't even really need to evaluate or clarify that card but we will it has come up positive for both sides it's just really assessing something yep there are some rules <laughs> trying to take control here this could be over a person this yeah a partnership is like not really going the way that it's supposed to and trying to control that partnership trying to maybe keep it from happening there's like a no choice, this is a fallout in a relationship or partnership, and this is just trying to be controlling over that, trying to avoid that maybe. So let's see what else we have going for you guys. There's the two of cups in reverse again. So this is the situation now. Now we're clarifying this two of cups that is being under control, right? This has got you feeling like, okay, what do I do now? If this situation isn't going the way that I want, you're not sitting around contemplating on it. You may be going back and trying to find out, you know, maybe reevaluating this friendship here, this three people celebrating. And we've got the four of pentacles, keeping your stuff pretty much guarded. Um, we're going to have to clarify these. Okay, we got the two cups in reverse again, so we're going to clarify that one. There's just some, there's a person who's not feeling that you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but this is someone who does not feel like they have any patience to, or understanding. They're unable to understand or have any security. They don't feel an, any security in this situation, in this partnership. And they're wanting to walk away. So the four of cups in reverse, which, you know, isn't too bad. You're not sitting around being attached to the situation because <laughs> it looks like instead you're deciding to maybe put the walls up and just continue partying on with your friends <laughs> because there's the there's those people partying it away behind those walls. So, hey, I'm just saying what the cards are saying. So, let's see what else. Another, oh, geez. <laughs> so, now we have the King of Wands in reverse. <laughs> wow, you guys. So, this is a person who has felt, okay, we have the Emperor here, right? But now we have this King of Wands person just really 
over controlling, overbearing. This is like being really pissed off and being control freak care. They're over aggressive, over assertive, and you're hoping to find out some truth about this because this is feeling like maybe there's some secrets that are not being hidden and so this is you maybe feeling out of control about this and not having that control but not willing to let it go unable to let it go it's like you're wanting to find out these secrets here so we're going to look at the king of wands and why the king of wands is here for you sagittarius in reverse which is you unable to make a decision not wanting to really make a decision about there was a choice <clears throat> in a partnership here and it looks like now all of a sudden or a new direction something that was inspiring but now it's like not inspired to make that choice at the moment you may be looking at the future towards the future going forward but you're not willing to make a choice because you're wanting to find out the truth you want clarity on this moon card right here <laughs> i'm just wow kind of just surprised on this reading already yep there is another person too involved here that um could be taurus virgo capricorn again the taurus two kings two king energies both in the reverse just feeling both of you just really just not seeing head to head this is like taking these two kings and having them both like cut they both fell down they still made it right this is like two big powerful people having having um having a pretty bad anger <laughs> should i say their queens kind of got stolen so now they're kind of like or their queens got took out so now they're like not very happy because they have to face some situation <laughs> i'm just let's not play chess with the cards today right <laughs> This King of Pentacles was King of Pentacles here and not very secure. They're not even using it. They're, they're supposed to be, they're trying to make a choice, but they're unable to make this choice. They can't see any clarity either because they're closed off. They're trying to just see a situation for um, what it is, the straight and narrow path. They are unable to look outside the box and see this situation for what it is. Why the heck do I keep having all these major arcanas for you guys? Upside down too. Oh. So, yeah, and this person feels there's a heavy loss that was made. And that's all they most likely are seeing is that there is a loss here. And they're having to go back into the past trying to figure out, trying maybe to get some help from other people. And so we have the moon card here. Oh gosh, <laughs> I hope I've run out of cards. And this is, even though this is mysterious, we have you coming out of um, coming out of anxiety. Even though there's a mysterious path, there's mysterious things going on. There's some secrets and stuff. There's still anxiety, just letting it go. <clears throat> but unable to, maybe you're seeing something finally coming out of anxiety, seeing something for what it is, seeing that something was actually an illusion, and. So now you're able to drop the anxiety. And then the only unfortunate part is, is that you're unable to walk away from the past here. You're still, now you're kind of like really stuck looking over here at this past situation. Maybe you're trying to refix the situation instead of just letting it go. But why would you want to refix the situation from the past unless you really love it? love that person or you see potential in that past situation because you love because we have the king of cups so this is trying to you you have a lot of love and patience and understanding and you want to move forward with this situation you're trying to fix that you're you may have come to an understanding of how to fix it so you are sending messages out there Another situation, putting a lot of hard work and effort into things. Look at, this is the Eight of Pentacles, so this is trying to advance forward. And you're expecting maybe a loss, so you're trying to maybe 
work ahead of time so you don't have this loss happen. You're trying to make sure you have everything worked out really perfect. And we have, yeah, the truth, some false truth. You're finding out some false truth about this situation. So no wonder you're like <laughs> sitting there putting, getting a lot of hard work, putting away, putting away some assets and stuff because you feel or expect that there's going to be a loss. There may be, you know, a time of, um, of some, not so much money. This is going from the eight filling down to the five. So there's going to be some change in your money situation because you realize the false truth here. We're going to clarify the double card here. Someone else may have been false. We've got the six of pentacles. So there may have been more, there may have been an unequal um, amount of money being handed out more to one than the other and you're realizing this and this is why luckily you know there's you've put some money away we have the five of um, coins in reverse over here with the king of pinnacles so maybe this person has tried to hide a situation of causing a loss wow Okay, you're going to know how that fits for you in your particular situation. So what is hidden? We have taking a time out, looking, just observing. We have the mummy card. Well, it's the hangman, but here he looks like a mummy. So just kind of being observant of, of watching things. And the reason is, the main part of it is because you feel there's been an unjust situation done. There's something been und not done right. This has been something that is totally illegal. <laughs> got the illegal card here, right? <laughs> and you are just like feeling pretty much at a loss, just unable to defend yourself at this point. So we're going to have to clarify these. The mummy card, this is causing you not to obviously go forward and it's something that you were planning on going forward you were stuck trying to figure out about go forward and something and now it's like just not able to even make a move on that right now and then you have the justice card in reverse because you have death in reverse too so this is not letting a situation go <laughs> so whatever was unjust to you something some untruth it's like you're really focused on trying to go back towards that and rehash that so letting down the guards and feeling like a fool about it too taking a risk letting down your defenses to go back towards this situation so because of that no longer making a decision not able to this is feeling unbalanced um, here you'd be balanced because you're able to juggle and everything but this is unbalanced letting things kind of fall because maybe you're paying too much attention to something in the past and because of this unbalance wow it's causing some change and it may be going good for you because it is the will of fortune turning hopefully into your favor right yeah you have a new awareness because of this unbalance not focusing on trying to juggle things you stop focusing on juggling things which causes this wheel of fortune which causes a new awareness it's like wow you're able to see something in a whole different way and why is it that you and you became <laughs> you're no longer juggling things because you decided to get a peace of mind you your mind cleared up you went through some type of change really quick that made you you decided to just find peace in your head right so then you have the wheel of fortune here <clears throat> which caused more change <laughs> this is like it may be opposing to other people but that's okay it's just words it's just bickering whatever it's nothing too bad this is just a bunch of people trying to impose their their will on each other here but you're seeing that you have the awareness card here this is you know making a judgment we also have the hand here so this is somebody some maybe you see that there was somebody all this whole time holding you know the strings like acting treating you like a puppet and so you're seeing maybe that awareness yeah 
and something was not done legally. Again, I don't know why I'm getting illegal stuff, but I just, something wasn't done the right way. This is something, it was done non-traditional. It was done against the way that it would be traditionally society-wise done. This would have been something that was done untraditional. So because of that, there's no new start here. Why would there be a new start? Who would be inspired to start something new right at this moment? You may be trying to fix this other stuff that's going on, trying to get more clarity on this. And we have the Three of Pentacles. Because of this new start, there's a lot of competition now right there. There's people, instead of sharing with others, you know, collaborating, they're like competing against each other here. And boom, you're going to get some messages that are going to come in pretty fast regarding this. And it's going to send you on a new, it'll, it'll light your fire <laughs> because you've got these, um, this fire and this earth here. It's like fire and earth, fire and earth. What does fire and earth do? Fire. They're just neutral. They're not, this is like totally neutralized. There's more fire here, even though there's no spark to begin with because there's no new start. There's this new start is because of whatever it was that you found out, you know, that caused you to no longer juggle something. Maybe it was overwhelming having to juggle all that. And then this, <laughs> oh boy. The Queen of Swords showed up, you guys, for the Three of Pentacles here. So this is what I say. This is competition here. And you're, so here's a person who's coming in, speaking their truth and setting. They're being pretty logical. There's no emotions with this person, but that's, they're conflicting. They, this is swords with coins. And that's just like that. Ah. Did I say earth earlier? This is. Um, wands with earth or coins is okay, but swords and coins is not okay. This person does not want anything new to start. They're too stuck in their past. This person, this queen of swords person, we were Gemini or Aquarius. They're just like really trying to state their truth. They are unable to go forward with a relationship or a partnership or something, they're really stuck. They're pretty nostalgic. They want something, but they're pretty competitive here. What the heck? There's competition. They don't want to, they don't want to see success because they want to keep it. And this could be keeping it in the childhood home here. This is something maybe to do with childhood home so they're not wanting to lose this fortune this this stability they don't want to lose it so they will compete really they're going to come in and just say some truth about this and then of course i'll clarify the message card here there's some truth coming out about some collections that have been hoarded for a while and you have had your eyes uh not focused because you've been purposely focused on seeing something else instead. So in the meantime, there's maybe a collection that's been kind of disappearing and you just really don't see it because you're, you've had an illusion put up on you and now you're not, before you may have been pretty bored and really not paying attention because you may have had attachments to other things. And so like maybe the universe or someone was trying to hint at you, trying to get you to wake up and say, hey, 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 they were ready to pour water on your head. You're just totally ignoring them. But now it's like, boom, you're looking at this like, wow. Now you're seeing the unbalance here and seeing that they're, you're missing out on an opportunity to catch this person. Okay, that is what I got for you guys. So you'll know how that resonates for you. That was a wild and crazy reading. That is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wow. So there are some expectations, though, here. So maybe towards the end of the week, you're going to be expecting to find out 
who's been you're going to get some messages coming in about um, this person who has some competitiveness with you and you'll find out why there's no new start because of this too maybe they've been they're in competition this could be even a family member maybe i'm feeling like a family member that's just been trying to keep something and i'm saying this is a collection because like the seven of swords is somebody who's sneaky but it's, the truth is coming out about seeing something being an illusion for you so there is expectation you were trying to birth a new project here too right and it's like okay well in that project uh, maybe you were just too bored to watch exactly what was really going on and or maybe someone was just a pretty pretty good at you know <clears throat> creating a false false reality for you because we do have the moon card here too okay i gotta quit or i'm gonna keep on going with this reading this is just like whoa this is what i got the queen's sword is like sitting right there at the top of this pretty important for whoever this reading is meant for whoever it resonates the queen of swords is pretty prevalent pretty dominant in this and this person may have been the one to maybe merge with you on a subject or a situation or a project or some type of inspiring thing but they actually have you know they're showing up competitive so take it as it is don't take what don't fit may you have a great week thanks